Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic guy, remember it, so you don't have to. You know, with a title like Red, do you really expect many possibilities? I mean, it's like calling your movie tubular, or gnarly, or... Whoa. There's just some things you know are doomed on arrival. Do you need to know the plot? No. Do you need to know the characters? No. Do you need to know anything about this movie outside of the title to know it absolutely sucks? Well, let me put it this way. It doesn't help. So, let us go on a most excellent adventure. This is rad! <laughs> so if by the opening credits of this movie you can't tell that the focus is going to be on BMX bike racers, your bus has arrived. Yeah, like the first five minutes of this movie is nothing but watching a bunch of people we don't know doing tricks. I wouldn't mind so much except that half the moves are just the humping the bike technique. No, I'm serious. This is the one move they do like a bajillion times in this movie. Once in a while you get a jump here and there, but then, nope, it's right back to the wheel rape. Okay, I'm sure that's difficult to do, but it looks silly and kind of perverted. Move along! So after the credits end with the bike tricks, we finally get the beginning of our story. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. All right. Or we do the exact same bullshit again. <laughs> so just to clarify, this movie is about ice skating, right? Gorbachev-tastic! Gremlins! Molly Ringwald! The Smurfs! Oh gee, I can't see anything going wrong with this scenario. Oops. The world would be a lot better off without kids. I killed a family in World War II. That's why I have such a harsh outlook on reality. But you don't care about that. I'm just a grump! So after he rides across the Brady Bunch lawn, we see him go to school to hang out with his friends. Hey, here's your fantasy, Studley. Fantasy? Katie and I are, like, special. That's our main character, everybody. How'd that go again? Katie and I are, like, special. We read poetry and pick flowers at the church. By the way, did they run this film through a pot of urine before they released it to the public? I've seen less yellow on The Simpsons. Hey, Katie, isn't that crew? Yeah, my biggest mistake ever. I'll see you later. Damn it. Oh, but I thought Katie and I were, like, special. We then see a meeting ran by the Mongoose Bicycle Company led by a man named Duke Best. Okay, Oscar, I'll pass you off at the head. That's right, it's Oscar from Short Circuit 2. He's in charge of bringing a new racetrack to town and getting some of the best-known riders he can find to race in it. You're gonna have all the top factory riders right here. Think about it! TV cameras in every corner of the town, showing on network television the spirit of Cochrane. Excuse me. Who dare questions the Mongoose Bicycling Company? Not to put a damper on the spirit of things, but I wonder how our kids are going to feel when hundreds of outside youngsters take over their town and they're not allowed to race in their own backyard. Hold me back, Lou. Hold me back. Hold me back, Lou. Hold me back. I better not find out where you live. We will hold a qualifying race. So the old lady's concern that really causes no concern is getting a lot of attention around town about the race, especially to crew and his friends. This bark dude, he ain't so awesome. What do you think, crew? I don't know. It's gonna take a radical miracle to beat this guy. <laughs> a miracle, as I like to call it. <laughs> but they have no time to think about that. The fuzz is there to chase them down because hell if I know. The officer Grub, they were very upset. We never had the love that every child ought to get. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I have no clue why a bald version of the Pringles guy is chasing down some bikers in the Home Depot lumberyard. But at least it gives us an excuse for cool riding! instead of chasing you, but I'll get you next time, you little rapscallion! Ho, ho, ho. Next we cut to Crew's sister, Punky Brewster, and his mother, Adrian from the Rocky movies. No, I'm serious, that's Adrian from the Rocky movies. And, just like in those films, her only job seems to be the athletic cock blocker to any rising sports star. This is a very important race. You always wanted to go to college, that's been the plan. When your gut talks to you, you listen. Oh, Christopher, that won't wash with me. Mother, I don't want to hear any more about it! Uh, don't listen to her, crew. I've made six movies doing the exact opposite of what she said. The next day, a parade goes by, welcoming the new bikers to the town. But the bikers aren't impressed. Hell track in this big town. You've got to be kidding. This is a joke. Big town we're rolling in here, huh, guys? Surprised the main street's even paved. <laughs> then I must say, the California rolls must be using imitation crab meat. <laughs> But Crew comes across one biker that he likes, Jesse's girlfriend from Full House. <laughs> Jesus, it's Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> you seen a kid on a bike? Yeah, lots of them. Oh, and trust me, you'll see fucking more as Crew tries to still impress that Katie chick with his asphalt mounting. Not too shabby, huh? Immature is more like it. <gasps> Are we going to the dance tonight or what? I'll be there. Well, great, rad. I'll pick you up at eight, huh? What makes you think I'm going with you? Oh, gee, your perked nipples seem to be pointing in my direction. And you'll pick me up how? On that dumb bike? Yeah. Sure. Katie, wait! Didn't you get my We're Like Special card? So they go to the school dance, or as the Brits like to call it, the shot up, where the bikers put on their finest. Battlestar Galactic attire. So what's it gonna be? A symphony tonight. Perhaps a little jazz. Oh yeah, I totally buy that these dances are 100% improvised, just as much as I believe the lawsuits against Borat. Hold everything! It's Christian Holland! Little early with the act, aren't you? Could have showed some respect and at least wait till I was done dancing. Don't make me put on my skeleton costume and go karate on your ass! But hey, you think the dancing is hard to believe? How about Crew and the Full House Chick doing a totally unrehearsed yet somehow completely choreographed bike dance? Gah, these fur the moment scenes are just so real, aren't they? I but then again, I guess any stunt would be easy when you do the whole friggin' thing in slow motion. for a solid minute, and I don't even want to know what she's doing to that seat. <laughs> so even though Crew's a big hit, we see that big bad Bart wants to be number one in this here town. Yes sir, Mr. Taylor. Hey, what do you got to do to get a table around here? I have one for you in a minute, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Do we get a table or do we leave? I have one right away, sir. <laughs> Isn't exactly the risk. Expected much more from Dairy Queen. So Crew and his friends get kicked out of their table, which leads them to practice more on the ramps. And somehow off screen, the full house chick finds them. If you do make it and those mattresses are there, they're just gonna cause you to wipe out. What are you nuts? No guts, no glory. Take the mattresses out. I should have moved those mattresses! My bones are jelly! Why did I listen to someone who dated John Stamos? He over-rotated. No shit. So because breaking his back turns him on, I guess, Crew and the Full House Chick hang out near the river. But crazy is nothing new. No, the big surprise would be, what if my dream came true? Uh, yeah, 
I guess that scene was so incredible, we should play it again in slow motion. This movie's like the passion. It may be an hour and a half long, but if you took out all the slow-mo, it'd only be two minutes. What stroke of love might strike today? You hey! Why was throwing a rock a reason to chase her? It was a big rock. But the day of the first big race to get into the other big race has finally come, and Duke Best couldn't be more sinisterly happy. Now, uh, what is the concept behind Hell Track? Well, you see, Bill, we decided that we needed our very own Super Bowl, so we hired the very best experts to build and design a track that combines the, the different styles and, and skills of BMX racers and freestylers. It's you know, can't people just tell this guy is evil? He has it written all over him. I mean, could you see him running a daycare or something? And now, uh, children, we're going to read the story of the three little pigs. Uh, three little pigs, here we go. The wolf ate the three little pigs, and uh, uh, that's it. down the hill like umpteen million times and of course crew ends up being one of the winners which of course gets him the big race at hell track which doesn't please his mother very much you defied me i didn't do it to hurt you you're willing to sacrifice building a solid future for a bicycle race would you try to understand the only thing I'm good at is riding this bike. Wow, that's unbelievably sad. And now I have a chance to be the best. Maybe the best in the world. I can take those SATs anytime, maybe in six months. Now you listen here. I... Six months, really? Well, yeah. Go do the race. Do the SATs anytime you want. I want you to make me a promise that in six months you'll take those SATs no matter what. Well... Yeah, doesn't that kind of go without saying? Is there any indication that he wouldn't? This was really a pointless detour. I think they just wanted to give the actress something to bitch about because that's what she does in all their other movies. Hey mom, I just got back from Burger King. Did you get anything for me? Uh, no. Why did I have you? But speaking of futures, Duke Best drops by and offers crew to join his team if he throws the big race don't understand it's a chance of a lifetime you'll regret it i'm telling you you'll live to re you'll live oh sure you'll all you'll live i guess the idea behind this is duke already has bart merchandise set up that he doesn't want to go to waste so he'd rather have bart win instead of anybody else but really you'd rather cheat than change a bunch of shirts wouldn't it be more valuable to find an incredible writer to make more merchandise off of i mean in the long run doesn't that make more sense than just rigging the game no Oscar. No! Well, even though Crew turns him down, he still rigs the game by making it a rule that to enter the race, you need to be sponsored by a company. But wait a minute! His little sister is selling Crew t-shirts! Say, I bet if they sell enough of those things, they just might be able to get enough money to count as a sponsorship! But we need the help of the whole school in order to make that happen- Whoa! I'm supposed to color the t-shirts. So all the students try to make shirts to sell. They work as hard as they can and- Ah! A black person! Take her off screen! Take her off screen! <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. Well, how about that? Looks like the local yokel's gonna race after all. Well, how about that? Now, if you will, Bob, crank the Tom Jones. Even though the shirts are selling like mad, it still looks like they're not selling enough to qualify. Which puts Crew in a non-rad mood. What a fool I was not to take Bess' offer. Everything else has been a joke. Yesterday you said you wouldn't have traded it for anything. You know, nothing can compete with money. I'm, I'm glad I learned that now. I thought you were a man. I thought we had something like special, but now I see we have something like... NOT SPECIAL! So it turns out that Crew still needs thousands of dollars to enter the race. But gee, the whole entire town would have to chip in in order for something like that to happen. 
And I have a word here. I've thought I heard it all till now. I've watched these kids grow up. I've chased every one of them. Why, God, I have no idea. But I'm wearing shades, so you know I mean business. I think Crew and his friends have done something special. Real special. Wow, that's half a degree more special than like special. If someone doesn't see that Crew has this opportunity, well, I guess we'll just all have to learn to live with it. No, not live with it! Let's give our money to those good old boys who are constantly chased by the law! Wait, what was your argument? So the town pulls out all their money, and even Orville Redenbacher contributes all that he can to get Crew into the race. This, of course, leads Crew to saying sorry to the full house chick in probably the most laziest apology ever. Would you like to be my friend? And I'm not kidding, that's it. That's the apology. There is no other dialogue that somehow actually manages to win her over. I've heard more fucking heartfelt speeches on bumper stickers! Hey, listen. What would Jesus do? Take me! Okay. So the big race is here and crew is finally ready for action. I sure hope this means watching the same people go around the same track about a dozen fucking times until I wish a bulldozer would run over my nuts on a pile of hot pokers. There's the guy! Oh no! I was totally wrong! This is watching the same people go around the same track about a dozen fucking times until I wish a bulldozer would run over my nuts on a pile of hot pokers IN SLOW MOTION! By God, I never thought I would say this, but put on NASCAR! Oh my heart, a backflip! Hulk Hogan, eat your heart out! He would if this was wrestling, but it's not! It's biking, so that makes no sense. There is a catch, though. Duke tells two of the riders to trip Crew up so that Bart can win. But get this, Bart actually waits up so they can be more even. Here is Taylor stopping. He wants Crew Jones one-on-one. -on -one. It's you and me, Megatron. No, it's just me, Prime. Of course, Crew ends up winning the day. I guess that whole playing fair thing really bit you in the ass, didn't it, Bartman? Looks like you're out of a job, huh? Yeah, well, you know, this isn't the only game in town. Now that we're official, think we got room on the rad team? Good Sounds idea. Why not? All right. Yeah. What a team. Really? That's how you're ending it? No interaction with your mother, interaction with your girlfriend, just that? I've had stale pieces of popcorn that have left bigger impacts on me! Oh, wait, at least they're giving us something that we haven't seen before! MORE BIKE STUNTS! Oh, please, tell me you hop around like a one-legged chihuahua again AND THE FAILURE IS COMPLETE! THIS MOVIE IS COMPLETE ANUS! It follows every sports cliché in the book, the characters are stale, even the bike stunts get a little old after a while. The only thing that's kind of cool are the crashes, which actually do look pretty realistic. But as you would guess, it's not worth wading through the rest of this ass to get to them. What else can you say about it except rad is friggin' bad. And if you ever do come across a BMX biker, why don't you go ahead and give them this movie? I'm sure they need something to make their fucking bikes out of! I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember, so you don't have to! Like, special. <coughs> oh my god. Never get sushi from Jewel.